Yo, what's going on, guys? Check it back, back. I'm excited. Yes, I am. Late night, I was opening some packs. I'm watching the, uh, what's it called? The uh, Rising Stars Challenge game. Watched a little bit of Celeb Game. It was cool. Some good moments there. But we opened up a box at halftime. I was watching. I was hopping in some Twitch streams. I was seeing some guys with some decent pack luck. And my boy Toki even pulled up packs. And he got multiple diamonds, like a ton. So I was like, you know what? Let me give it a box a go, baby. And boom, look what we got. I'm going to play the clip for y'all right now. In back-to-back -back packs, the first pack, we got ourselves a diamond, baby. And I was like, okay, that's nice. That's sweet. And then the very next pack, baby, boom, we get ourselves Michael freaking Jordan. That card is going for, like, as much as the diamonds, man. So, yeah, that makes us able to complete this set. All we needed was one more card. And we come down here to the bottom, Dwight Howard. I got him for 147K. That's actually not too bad. Again, I, I paid more than that for certain cards, so that's actually pretty sweet. And right there, boom, Dwight Howard will add him to the set. And now, all we have to do is lock it in. So here is the All-Star Weekend set. We will lock it in, and boom, we got Vince Carter, baby, waiting in our oxys, man. I am so excited for this card. I've seen some clips of a few people who have him, and he is nasty. And you guys know how much I love Vince Carter, man. And by now, y'all probably seen that we got, obviously, that freaking amazing Will Chamberlain card. So, uh, yeah, man, loving All-Star Weekend right now. Really am. Lots of videos going up on the channel, if you guys didn't already know. But let's open up the All-Star Vince Carter. Woo! I didn't think that we'd actually get one of these, but we do. Nice and early. This is going to be the best Vince Carter of the year, baby. Show me my prize. Show me Vince Carter, baby. Oh, that looks sick. I love it. Look at that. He's going for the windmill jam through the legs. I don't even know what he's going for. He's going for something crazy. But uh, maybe it's a 360 through the legs. I don't even know. But that looks dope, man. Let's share the stats. I know he's got Hall of Fame posterizer. Ooh, I got to try that bad boy out, man. Right here is the collection, but I got to find out where he is. I have actually no clue. There he is right next to Dominique, man. Both those beastly dunkers, man. I think I might do like a slam dunk video and see if we can get the most, who can get the craziest dunk animations. But if y'all just want to see a gameplay with him, let's get this video to 2,000 likes, man. This collection took a lot of, uh, a lot of VC and a lot of crazy pulls, man. We opened a ton of packs. Easily the most we've done of any of them. Luckily, it was on sale, which kind of evened out with some of the other packs. I think the, uh, what was the one that I struggled with? The one with Oscar Robinson, I think. Or the one with Tracy McGrady I struggled with. The packs that had T-Mac in, I struggled with those. But let's just check out his stats really quick. I want to put that diamond on him so badly. Badges. He's got posterizer, pop city finisher, and the tireless. Ooh, those tireless score ones make it nice, man. I love those tireless scores. I'm telling you. The uh, Hall of Fame for that just is insane. And, of course, a ton of other gold ones and a ton of freaking silver badges. So we'll badge him out for sure. Definitely will. We can put a shoe on him if we wanted. Oh, imagine a T-Mac and Vince uh, combo dynamic duo. They made him even better. Oh, my God, would that be so cool. I'd love to see that. But 99 on offense, 95 on defense, 6'6", monster. He has a little bit of a fadeaway, which is nice. Obviously, driving layup and standing layup. Mid-range, 95, 92. 94 for the three ball and a 90 for the off dribble. That's beastly, man. That's amazing. Awesome free throw, which Vince Carter usually doesn't have the best. It's an 86, and when he's on fire, you know, that'll heat up to 89-ish around there. So he's got nice passing as well. <laughs> Look at that, 93 and 85. The only thing that doesn't have his vision, and I'm not sure if that even matters, really. But, uh, yeah, I think your vision is what actually matters. But he's got nice rebounding, too. Uh, 68 isn't too bad. Like, that, that's all right. For a guard, that's actually pretty good. I know we've seen some guards with, like, 80, but th those are crazy rebounders, like Westbrook and stuff like that, who's averaging a triple-double. But look at the uh, pass perception, which is nice at a 90. I like that. Steal, 82. And uh, some nice defensive stats right there. And um, obviously, 99 deriving dunk, 98 contact dunk, 95 speed craziness, man. And we can try a shoe on him, and he will be in freaking incredible. And obviously, he's got some nice tendencies right there. But uh, it, it could even be a little bit better right there. 90 and uh, 80. You would think driving dunk would be all the way at a 99. They might up that because that seems a little low. I know that they don't always update these. Sometimes it takes a couple days and things like that. But they usually do. But that is the Vince Gardner, man. I want to do a quick video on this, just like I did a quick video on the Wilt, man. And obviously, if you guys want to see a gameplay of him, let's get this video 2,000 likes, man. Let's do it up. This card looks insane. And yeah, a lot of uh, videos are coming this weekend, man. But crazy stuff. A freaking dope card. But uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the quick video and want to see some Vince game. I know y'all do. I know y'all do. So let's do it up and uh, let's get y'all Vince Carter. It's over, baby. It's over. That card looks cool.